Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing 20 chic winter wardrobe essentials. So I do this video every single year. I'll be sharing some accessories, clothing pieces, some shoes. I'm really excited to share everything. I have some stylish yet really warm and also practical wardrobe pieces that I wanted to share with you guys today. As always, everything will be linked down below if you happen to be interested in anything. And let's go ahead and hop right in. Start off with outerwear because I have some outerwear that is really warm that I think is perfect for winter. So if you're looking for a blazer, that you want to wear to work or even outside of work. Uh, this wool blended blazer from Abercrombie & Fitch is fantastic. It is fully lined on the inside. It's really thick, really warm, and it comes in multiple colors as well. It comes in petite, regular, and tall too. For size reference, I'm wearing extra small petite. I shared this recently and actually I've had the cream color of this coat for years. This is a great, great jacket. Even for fall, you would just wear a lighter layer underneath it, but perfect for winter. You can layer thicker knits under Underneath it if you stick with your true size so that way you have a little bit of extra room to wear thicker knits underneath it but it is great to style with like skirts trousers jeans it's all around really good basic and then if you look close up it has a herringbone pattern to it like a very slight herringbone pattern I think just the gray color has this the other colors are different now if I'm suggesting a warm wool blended coat also a couple options from Abercrombie. I think I've compared these two before, but the camel collared one is the classic dad coat. And then this gray one is a new one Abercrombie released this year. This is their blanket coat. I love both of them so much, but it purely just depends what your personal style and preference is. Obviously the dad coat is more fitted, really classic, but the blanket coat is also slightly fitted, but still has a relaxed yet classic look to it and both of them are really warm so the blanket coat is unlined but the dad coat is fully lined if we're comparing warmth I feel like they're quite similar honestly if anything maybe the dad coat is a little bit warmer for the dad coat I would suggest staying true to size with this one I personally went down a size and I've been saying for years that if I were to repurchase it I would get my normal size uh, the blanket coat I actually did go down a size in this one it went with double extra small and I actually really like that fit on me it's not too oversized because blanket coats tend to run kind of big and oversized so for me being petite I like going down a size in this style but if it's a fitted style like the dad coat I definitely suggest staying true to size but both are fantastic for winter if you have more mild winters meaning it's not too cold you know we have days here in Washington where I mean winter is pretty cold but it's not like super cold where sometimes I don't have to whip out like my really thick coats I can get by with a little bit of a thinner wool coat but still wearing a thicker knit underneath it so this is the wool coat by Goelia. I love this so freaking much. It has like such a classy and elegant look to it. I specifically love wearing turtlenecks or sweaters that have a higher collar underneath it since this jacket is collarless. The turtleneck just peeks out, really adds to the jacket and I love the button detailing on the jackets. It has two big pockets in the front. This is a great winter fall winter coat uh, but specifically if your winters are mild uh, and this comes a little bit more relaxed so you can definitely layer thicker knits underneath it. I'm wearing a pretty thick turtleneck under this jacket coat and it fits perfectly doesn't feel too stuffy not too thick so I love 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 this one okay let's share some top sweaters so this one I shared recently in my Abercrombie haul if you haven't seen that video I'll link it up here but this is a fantastic basic layering piece for winter it is so thick if you purchased it uh maybe you have it this is so thick like if you're looking for a, just a classic layering piece for winter truly you guys this is the best one and abercrombie I feel like are just doing so good in quality lately fits beautifully sleeves are a tad long but folding them as i always say works fine for me and the length of it is perfect not too long not too short really easy to tuck in just a great fitted long sleeve that's on the thicker side or much thicker side to keep you really warm but you can still easily layer it because it's fitted this i also shared in my abercrombie haul this has been like a bestseller on their site i love it for more of like a fancy or dressy sweater for winter time it's definitely thick enough to keep you warm and as well as layer under some jackets to keep you extra warm love the button detailing they're actually done really really well quality is amazing the length of this is incredibly petite friendly i actually wore this to church the other day and i was just so happy was just how well it fit me I didn't have to like fuss around with it during the day just sat laid beautifully on my body and was just really comfortable to wear from morning to
tonight. So this is more of a lighter layer. I'm always putting striped shirts or sweaters in my like capsule wardrobe style videos. Uh, this Alexa sweater makes an appearance probably every single one of my capsule videos because I mean it is a splurge for sure. It's by Cezanne. It's ridiculous in price but it is my most worn striped shirt sweater. It is so versatile. It fits really well. This is definitely a lighter layer so this is something you know if you're wearing it for winter you'll want to wear some of your like thicker wool coats with it to keep you warm. It just goes beautifully with everything. It's transitional. It can wear all winter, spring, indefinitely. It'll be too warm for summer, but you can definitely wear it most of the year just depending on where you live. Next up for some thicker knits. So this is a long sweater shirt. This is something that's great to wear with full leather leggings, regular leggings, so with some knee-high boots or some combat boots. This is a really, really great piece for uh, winter time and even fall. It's really thick, really warm, love the stripes. I shared this in my Amazon haul video recently and it comes in multiple colors as well. I'm wearing the double extra small and this is just such a cute flattering fit. It's split on the sides, um, very petite friendly, really warm and just a great piece I found from Amazon that is fairly priced and that is so stylish at the same time. If you live in an area where it gets cold in the winter, pretty cold, uh, having like a thicker 100% um, cashmere wool turtleneck is such a must. I love this one because it's uh, thicker. This is by Lily Silk. I've had this for several months. I love it so much. I think it comes in multiple colors and the material this is 70% wool and 30% cashmere. It's definitely really warm. I love the ribbed turtleneck. It's also ribbed on the sleeves here, the cuffs, and then on the hemline. It's really flattering, definitely petite friendly, and something that'll keep you so warm because it's made up of wool and cashmere. So if you live somewhere where it's pretty cold, investing into a sweater like this I think will go such a long way in your wardrobe. It'll keep you warm. It's stylish. It's classic. You can easily layer it under your other wool coat. I do love Lily Silk. I also love Quince. Their prices are a little bit more affordable if you're comparing it to Lily Silk. But this Lily Silk sweater, I feel like the difference between Quince is that it's much thicker. Uh, so this is something I definitely suggest if you need a thicker sweater to keep you really warm. Next up is another Lily Silk sweater. Uh, I love this one because it's so petite friendly and I love the ribbed collar. It's not like quite a turtleneck, um, but it's not a crew neckline. It's kind of like halfway, but it's done in such a flattering way. So it's ribbed here. It's ribbed at the hemline and on the cuffs here. The length is perfect, especially if you're petite. Do a cute little front tuck. Fits beautifully. The material is made up of 70% wool, 30% cashmere. So uh, I love this option as well. I mean, I think between the two, it's hard to pick a favorite, but I would probably say the gray one is my favorite. So including thicker sweaters that are made up of like wool or cashmere, mirror is such a must have in your wardrobe especially for winter so that way you can stay warm but look very put together very stylish and you don't need to add a lot into your wardrobe literally you can even add just one maybe two start off with really classic colors and they will go such a long way in your wardrobe and last forever okay let's share a couple bottoms so i really want to share the abercrombie ultra high rise 90s jean because i feel like for abercrombie jeans this is the best quality denim that they make uh they probably have denim that's similar but as far as as I tried these are the best quality that I have tried I love how they fit the way they look very flattering I'm wearing it in a extra short so they do run long so double check the inseam measurement so you can get your correct length but I'm wearing the extra short I'm five foot one I've said this before these are the closest feeling and look and style fit to my premium designer jeans that I rave about so if you're looking for something more on a budget but still has that really nice luxe look Definitely recommend specifically the 90s ultra high rise. So flattering, come in so many different sizes, extra short to tall, so many different colors. Went with this wash black, which I think is so fun to style. And then a trouser that I think is perfect for winter is the Everlane Dream Pant. I've been sharing these since September. And I love how thick they are and really warm. They have deep pockets. I'm wearing them in a size extra small. I would say they're true to size. And the size is actually pretty forgiving. It's really stretchy. So you can say true to size if you want them more relaxed. You can go down a size if you want them more fitted. The waistband is nice and stretchy, but they feel like sweatpants, but look like a trouser, which is the biggest reason why I love them and been raving about them because they are the most comfortable trousers that I own. And they also have back pockets, so they really look like a trouser. And they have the seams in the front as well, down the leg. They are such a good classic that come in many colors as well. So for a trouser for winter, these are fantastic. Will keep you so warm, yet look so stylish at the same time. Next up are these wool shorts that I'm wearing. These are from Guelia. Now I know for winter time, it's like, why the 
heck would you wear shorts? If your winter is more mild, and especially if you wear the right layering pieces, you can totally pull it off. So these are actually made up of 100% wool and they're really warm. And they're also lined on the inside as well. The quality is incredible, deep pockets. I love the button detailing uh, right around the pockets, the hips. The way it's done makes your waistline look smaller because they taper in to your waistline the buttons and it's just done so so well so i love these i want them to come out in more colors because i will literally purchase every freaking color they come with and i actually wanted to share these tights that i'm wearing next these are fleece lined and you guys have probably seen tons of like ads for these i actually purchased these last winter i love them because you can still wear tights but you stay warmer than wearing a pair of jeans i kid you not so that's how i can pull off wearing like little shorts like this for winter mini skirts i just paired the shorts with knee-high boots here and these fleece line tights and shockingly i am incredibly warm like honestly you guys I'm warmer wearing this outfit than I would be wearing like jeans or maybe some trousers with a long coat. This keeps me warmer, which, you know, doesn't look like that. People probably think I'm freezing my booty off, but really I'm warmer than everybody else. Especially if you're someone that just loves to wear skirts and dresses and little shorts like this all year round. This is such a must have. Next up are ribbed scarves. So I'm going to recommend a thicker scarf and then something a little bit thinner. And this one is more budget friendly out of the two that I'm gonna share. So this is thicker rib. This is from Amazon. I love these. I pull these out every single year. I wear it with my outerwear pieces and I love the ribbing to it. And also what I love about it is not too frumpy and too bulky. Like you could definitely see like, you know, it adds layers to me but it's not so frumpy which i love so i hate scarves that are just way bulky oversized and so frumpy i just kind of want something that keeps me warm looks stylish but not too bulky this is it and something that's more luxe so this is the quince 100 percent cashmere scarf and then i also got the hat so i'll put these together in the same number but i do love this actually this looks so cute with the shorts that i'm wearing actually literally looks like it was meant for each other um wow i'm actually really surprised this one is definitely not as bulky this is definitely not as bulky as the ribbed scarf so if you want something a little bit thinner a little bit lighter this is great but it will still keep your neck warm so it does the job and then the matching hat is also great to have and add on uh, just to kind of make it look cohesive. I actually really love matching the color of my hat to my scarf. So I love that Quince has the matching colors. Um, makes it really easy to have like really put together outfits. See this put together, I think it's so cute. I'm actually, so, I, I am literally gonna wear this outfit probably this week. Um, I love it with the shorts. I'm literally so warm right now, but it doesn't look like it because I'm wearing shorts, but I totally am. Anyways, back to the hat and scarf. Quality is great, 100% cashmere, comes in many colors, and the prices are reasonable too. A quince does pretty fair pricing, so I really appreciate that. Stuff is boots. I get so many requests for winter boots. Now, I don't have a good recommendation for just a solid pair of winter boots that you can run around in the snow in, and you know your feet and shoes will be fine. These are more of like a stylish option. So I've worn these in the snow. I do think they're great and they do work. However, this is something I probably wouldn't wear if I'm just full on in the snow playing, running around with my kids. Like I'm probably gonna choose a different shoe um, because these are a little bit nicer, but these are still a great stylish winter boot. They're by Mark Fisher. I really love them, had them for years. They're definitely really warm as well, especially if you pair them with boot socks. Uh, these boot socks I recently shared by Amazon. Amazon Christian favorites video. They are so warm, so thick. And I love the ribbed cuff as well, and they just go perfectly inside your boot. I'm in a three pack with uh, different color combinations. I went with like the two nude colors and then one black. Hate having cold feet in the winter. Literally suck. Having a pair, a pack of these is inexpensive, stylish, and it'll keep you really warm. And honestly, I actually lounge around in these at home. Next up are these combat boots. I've been sharing these for years. Won't go too much into detail. Nordstrom Rack sells these now. These used to be like a Nordstrom item, but I think now it's moved over to uh, Nordstrom Rack. Uh, so you can get these for actually really decent and fair price now. Uh, these have been beat up like crazy and the quality 
holding up so well. I just cleaned them, polished them up, good as new. Um, I love how they're very practical, but yet they're really stylish at the same time. I wear these a lot during fall and winter, and I will especially pair these with my boot socks to keep my feet extra warm. Next up are these knee-high boots that I got recently uh, from Macy's. They're by the brand, I think, Tommy Hilfiger. I love these so freaking much. They're my favorite, just like stylish knee-high riding boot. They are true to size, and I would say these fit really well if you have average and wide calves, especially for wide calves. See the back here, it's really stretchy. So if you have wide calves, I do think it'll work. You can double check and try it out if you have narrow calves. Width is 13 inches, I believe. I'll write on the screen exactly. I remember I wrote it down somewhere. I just can't remember exactly. I think it's 13 inches. So they're not wide, but I don't think they're really considered narrow, so I'm not sure. But they fit me really well, and the height of the boot is definitely petite friendly. It doesn't cut in the back of my knee, and they're just the perfect length. And what I love about these is that they're fairly priced for a really stylish knee-high boot. I also love the gold hardware on the side. Uh, it just dresses up the boot and looks really flattering. Okay, super random, last but not least, is an accessory. It's these beautiful bows right here, hair bows. I've been really into them lately. Now, I'm not sure if they're a little too juvenile for me. I don't know, I think they look so cute and so girly and so fun. And this is something I mostly would wear for wintertime. During the holiday season, the festivities, parties, and all that, I think this kind of goes perfectly with it, especially the red color. So if you've been interested in trying it out, I do like these from Amazon. Anyway, super cute. I know it's not for everybody, but I personally really like them. Hey guys, so that is it for this video. That was 20 chic winter wardrobe essentials. As always, I'll have everything linked down below if you wanted to check out anything for yourself. What size I was wearing in each piece, I will have it listed next to the item too. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your love and support, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!